Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube station. I know what the hell is this guy doing? What's going on? Am I in the government witness protection program? What a shitty office this guy has. No, no, I'm actually moving. I'm only going to be in this location for another 10 days and I am gone. I'll have a beautiful background restored again. So if you're contacting me, just during this period of time. I apologize for the shit show behind me. But anyway, you want to listen to what I have to say because I worked at IRS for 10 years. I'm a national expert in IRS resolution matters. 10 long years at IRS. I've been on all the major news stations. Check me out on my uh, on my, uh, on my my website, 777irs.com. I don't try to patronize myself here. Anyway, let me, uh, can, can you stop an IRS audit? I am asked anytime I speak, spoken different places in the United States, uh, can you stop an IRS audit? And you see that you can. People say that. It's all bull crap. You can't stop an IRS audit. Why? Because the computer audits you and not a person. Yes, the computer. The computer scans your tax return and it throws up a score, a diff score. What does it stand for? Discriminatory Index Function Score. That's what it stands for. It's an algorithm that the IRS uses and it changes every year the more it gets better and better and better depending on uh, audit results that it, it, it gets and refines and it, they can start zeroing in on really where the low-hanging fruit is. So if you're going to have an IRS audit or you've got a letter about an IRS audit, you should really contact us because we know what the hell we're doing. We know everything about the IRS and very few firms are going to do a better job than us. But let me just tell you, um, just how the DIF score works so you'll understand. It's very important. The DIF score, the discriminatory index function score, works on a, an algorithm that takes all the information on your return and compares it to other tax returns like you. If you're falling out of the norm within what IRS considers your norm, your area, what you're doing, then IRS pops out a potential audit. Uh, I, certain people at local office may look at those and they'll determine whether that audit's good or that audit's bad. They'll send it back up to the service center. Then the service center determines how many audits they want to send down to the local office uh, based on the manpower there. And that's how you get audited. So can you stop an audit? You can't. As long as you know you're operating with uh, within what you would say the, the guidelines of what you think is actually fair and not being too aggressive on different deductions and all and exemptions and all that and not take extra credits, you'll probably never get audited. But anyway, if you do get audited and your tax return is correct, who cares? It doesn't make any difference at all. So you'll never stop being audited by the IRS because their computer audits you. Thank you much. If you need me, call me. Thank you.